vlog a day, 370, whatever. Done with this. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the last episode of Vlog a Day Season 1. It's weird. I don't know if I'm going to be able to stop. Take a break. Take a break. Not, not right now. Uh, in, in like seven minutes or nine, probably closer. Hopefully closer to seven. I'm gonna try and keep it, keep it snappy. I'm looking forward to sleeping. <clears throat> it's not overrated. It's one of those funny things where like, for the longest time, I didn't really care if I slept that much or not because if I fell asleep during class or if I fell asleep during whatever, eh. Now though, since I have to get up, and especially because I gotta work like out and about, it matters more. I mean, I've, I've cared about sleep more in the last decade uh, than I did in the decade before that. And then the decade before that, I cared about sleep way more. It's really funny how you're like, you wanna sleep all the time, you don't wanna sleep, you wanna sleep, you don't wanna sleep. So maybe we'll get to another phase where I don't care about sleeping. Be like Napoleon and only sleep like four hours a night or something like that, whatever he both slept famously. I don't know, I just want to live longer. I think we're just sleeping more. Uh, what else am I gonna do? Be a little bit more social. I won't have to leave things early because I know I'm gonna have to edit, so that'll be nice. had a family that already quit. I'm gonna go return their bikes. It happens sometimes. And it's unfortunate it stinks because they're already out here. And they'll still get to see our side, which is great. And hopefully have a picnic and stuff, but they're just not feeling great on their bikes. So got everybody started in the market. I'm gonna go put their bikes away. Then I gotta rush off to buy supplementary tickets for uh, the kids today because it's a fountain day and kids don't get in for free today, unfortunately. So take care of that. And then hopefully I'll be able to sit down long enough to munch on my crepe because I'm hungry. <laughs> At this point, I'm at the Queen's Gate. A little bit of zipping around, a little bit of sweating. Grab some tickets and then we should be good to go. Assuming they're still open. If they're not open, then this gets complicated very quickly. All right. Got the tickets. Now I gotta rush back. I'll have enough time maybe to cram some crepe in my craw, uh, but not much. And then we gotta go from there. That's not a guy I know. I was hoping that was Phil. Well, I uh, completely forgot one ticket, so I had to go back and get that. Now we're going back to the market uh, with just enough time to gather everybody and go into the... I don't have any food. I didn't have time to buy food, so uh, hopefully I have time to buy a dummy baguette or something before we go in. Alright, so far no further incident. My last name is Ooh, Devil Goats. Plenty of devil goats out here. I don't know what to expect tomorrow. I'm I'm really gonna try hard not to vlog. That's my plan. As you've seen, all of the introductory characters have said their goodbyes, which means it's time to come to a close for this season. Give it a break. I'm gonna try and do revisions on Agnar's box, get that out of the way. I'm gonna make some plans for the vlog as well. I'm gonna reformat Patreon, so if you guys wanna get more involved, I can make it a little bit more fun that way, hopefully. Get everybody a little more engaged. A lot of good stuff. I just need a little bit of time to get it all done. And so that's kind of a kicker. Great tour. Those guys were a lot of fun. I am thirsty. Uh, it was all Americans except for one Kiwi who lives in Australia. She was also very lovely. Now I'm gonna go, I wanna get water, and then I think we might be splitting a beer on the steps of the church. We'll see if I get ditched again, but Fraser's out here today. I wanna make sure you guys get to see Fraser one more time before this is all over. 
I should have crossed the street over there. What was I thinking? It's hot out and I need water. They were really nice though and everybody actually shared a little bit of food with me. I only really had time to get a dummy baguette when I went to grab food. So thankfully everybody had a little bit of extra cheese some tabbouleh, a little bit of meat. So I, I ended up with a nice little sandwich in the end, which was great. The only downside now is I've got to figure out how many calories it was. Really all I want right now is water. A beer sounds really good. And then I'm gonna go in, I think I'm gonna meet Jen and one of her friends, and we might be meeting up with a few others. Not really sure who all, oh, there's the new one. So Space Invader's been in Versailles recently, and there is a new one here, and it's the Mario Castle facing the French one. Look at this. That's torture to a man dying of thirst. That'd be a really sick. All right, Jeff, I gotta don't panic. And Brice was kind enough to refill my water, which is really nice of him. Beer Tech, if you're in Versailles and you need like a tasty brew, like you don't want just kind of like the watered down bleh beer, uh, Beer Tech will hook you up. They've got really, really good beer. There are a couple spots in Paris too that I can show you in season two, I'm sure. But that'll be season two. For now, we're going to the steps. I can only stay for a short while because I got to return some stuff to Paul. Looks like there must have been a wedding here or something. Look at these schmucks over here in the corner. That's what I should have said. Finally in the blog. I made it, ladies and gents. Only took you all day. Alrighty, I wanted to go be social for a minute, but I gotta go back to Paris. Too sweet to give Paul his stuff back. And I don't actually know when the next train leaves, so maybe I'll Google that, because I might have to hustle. And now we wait. Well, so Jen wants to meet at a burger joint called Workshop Paris. It's fine by me because I'm really hungry, but that means that today might have to be my cheat day. I try to keep myself to one cheat day a week. See, I told you it would be insufferable if I talked about For those of you who missed out on the live edit last night, I told Swirl that it might, uh, it might actually be insufferable for me to be on a diet while on the vlog because you gotta think I talk about food enough as it is, but while you're on a diet, that's like literally all you can think about anyways is food and how you either are or aren't eating it properly. So anyways, my philosophy is very much to try and burn more calories than you're consuming, obviously. I have ratcheted my calorie count down because in talking with Allie about it yesterday, I realized that I was only set to lose one pound a week and I want to lose two pounds a week. So I have significantly fewer calories to eat, which I managed to stay under yesterday. So I've been under it two days in a row, which is good. So the goal is to uh, try and stick to that diet six days a week and then one day a week eat as much as I can. And part of that's just to remind my body that it is not starving, it is getting as much food as it wants and that should encourage it to continue to drop weight. I had a quick coffee at the Peloton, and now I'm on my way to Place des Vosges to meet Ali and Olivia. I saw Olivia, so I just love living here. I love this city. I love how beautiful it is. I love my friends here. I love being here. And of course, we had to talk about the prefecture for a minute, which made me just love it that much more, despite the stress of maybe getting kicked out of the country. So we'll see how that goes. <sighs> Anyways, today is definitely my cheat day. I'm just gonna go for it, which is a terrible cheat day because I've been eating so light all day. Basically just getting a cheat meal. And the gelato stands are doing just fine. <laughs> Look at all this blanket. Oh, this place. Just walked by this like two days ago, very recently. Saw it, I really wanted to try it. This is perfect. Jen's filming me. We've got vlogception going on here, Jen. I started the post vlog late nights a day too early. So there's a good chance this one's gonna be posted late. Sorry about that. But it is the last one before the break, so might as well be late for one. Right? Not that I've ever been late before. Don't worry, this isn't goodbye. I still have a couple of videos I wanna post. Gonna try and post a few videos per week, two or three, we'll see how it goes. 
and I will let you know through that as well as through Twitter, Patreon, wherever else when the vlog will start up again. If it'll start up again. I think it'll start up again. It's been a crazy year, you guys. Maybe we'll get some more reflection in here soon. But until then, thank you so much for watching. If you've never subscribed to me before, please do subscribe and hit that little bell notification symbol uh, just so that, you know, you can be told when I do start uploading again because it's coming.